Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you're new around here. I thought I'd get ready on camera today because as you can see, I need a little bit of a pick me up. I've not been feeling well for the last few days. So I thought I would get ready with you on camera and just kind of try a few new products as well. Cause I've been sent a few products by Pixie and just some other random bits and just show you my usual kind of makeup routine with some added extras in there as well. I hope you're all doing really well. I thought I would just catch up with you today. Just starting with this Kiehl's face cream today. This is the Ultra Facial Cream. I'm just applying that to add some extra moisture to my skin today because it really needs it. My skin feels so dry at the moment. So yeah, I'm looking rather pale. We had a wedding over the weekend and it is Tuesday today. So my tan has kind of worn off since the weekend because I tanned on Friday, Thursday or Friday. So yeah, I am looking a little bit pasty now and pale. I should have actually put this one on. I didn't even think this is the Bondi Sands Pure self tanning sleep mask even though it's a sleep mask it's meant to like be worn in the night time i tend to apply it in the day as well if i need a little bit of a pick me up it's really good and then also this is what pixie sent me so pixie by petra flawless beauty primer i don't usually wear primers to be honest this one has got a bit of color to it so i'm literally just gonna apply that oh, i think under the eye area and along the nose oh hang on mark's just ringing me Hello baby, all right? All right, so I'm back now. Sorry, I was on the phone then to Mark for a little while, but I've got the primer on now and actually it's really nice. It's very, very, it's not like really dewy. It's got a bit of a glow to it, if that makes sense. So it doesn't make your, if you've got quite oily skin, I feel like this would be quite a good primer for you because it's not oily in any way, but it does give you a slight glow to your skin. So I do like that. I don't obviously know how it works throughout the day, but I do find that it's a nice, glowy primer nice and hydrating so what was i saying i've just put some earrings in as well because i forgot that i didn't have any in i'm just going to go in with a tinted moisturizer this is by laura mercier and it's the oil free one as well i've got combination skin so i have oily areas but this one's really nice and i use the shade 3w1 bis i feel like this is like an old school video going into a get ready with me type video do you remember if you were here from like the beginning do you remember all my beauty videos i used to do i feel like i used to do them all the time i used to upload like three times a week and it would always be a beauty video so yeah it feels like we're going back to the og days i'm just going to apply this with a sigma brush this is the flat kabuki f80 and you'll see that it is slightly darker for my skin but once it's all like blended out it kind of just shears out nicely and gives me a bit of color as well but as i'm not really doing much today i just feel like this is all i really need that is literally it it's just, i use the tiniest amount just gives me a little bit of color and just evens out my skin tone a little bit as well i always go in with a bit of concealer as well the one i really like at the minute is one by brule beauty this is quite a new discovery for me well i've had this for about I don't know, four months, maybe four or five months. I use shade one, I think it is number one, and it's a full coverage concealer. So it's just good for your blemishes. And the color of this one is quite close to my skin tone. So it never looks, you know, too crazy. It's not like a highlighting concealer. So I literally put it on my chin and that's about it. I don't have many blemishes at the minute. So that's good. And I don't tend to put a lot of concealer under the eyes either. I'm not even gonna bother today because there's no point really. So that is all i've got on my skin and then for my bronzer i'm gonna go in with this clinique stick and i really like this this is the clinique chubby stick in the shade one curvy contour and it just looks like this i love these contour sticks because they're just so easy to apply and i just apply it like so it looks quite crazy but it blends out quite sheer this one so don't be alarmed by the way I look right now. And then just under the chin. And then I go in with the same brush that I use for my foundation. And as you can see, it just blends out really easily. And then if you can see here, look how easy that just blends out. Very, very soft. Anyway, how are you all doing? 
we had snow over the weekend which was so so nice so like i said we had a wedding over the weekend a family wedding in bristol so um we woke up on the saturday morning and it had been snowing which i could not believe because we had no warning really that it was going to snow so the boys woke up to snow and it was so exciting the wedding in bristol didn't have any snow so we obviously had to drive there so we drove down to Bristol, had the wedding, which was really lovely. It was Mark's brother that was getting married. So all three brothers are now married. Really nice to see everyone. We had such a great time. We got to stay in the hotel as well. We stayed in a place called Berwick Lodge Hotel and oh, it was beautiful. Such a lovely setting, such a beautiful place. And then that night it snowed. So the boys woke up to snow at Berwick Lodge. So that was really lovely. The boys had lots of playtime in the snow in the morning and then we came home. Then I got poorly the next day and I wasn't very well for the next day so I've been not so well for the last couple of days but I'm feeling a bit better today so that's good I feel like there's been so many winter bugs recently all of the kids are constantly getting ill at the moment and thankfully they're kind of out the other side now and they're all feeling good again but yeah I'm, quite, I'm just grateful that touch wood they're not going to get poorly before Christmas and they've kind of had their bugs this winter so yeah I just feel like they're constantly ill especially with nursery they're always bringing something home but anyway that was our weekend and then this week we are going to the pantomime so every year it's been our tradition ever since Vinny was three we go to the pantomime and then Renzo started coming when he was three and Orlando is obviously three now so he's going to be going to his first pantomime this year so we're very excited about that so all five of us go in I think I can't remember what day it is on now I think it might be Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday and we're going to see Jack and the Beanstalk, one of our favourite traditions at Christmas. So I'm excited for that. It's been just one of those like couple of weeks, really. It's just been very hectic. Feel very unorganised for Christmas. Let me know how you're feeling about Christmas. But you probably know by now that I'm quite an unorganised person when it comes to Christmas presents and all of that stuff. But I don't mind the last minute rush. I quite like that. Although sometimes you can't get exactly what you want. So that's where I should have been more organised with things. But so far, I think I've got all of the gifts that I wanted to get people. So that's good. I've only got a few more left to get for the boys and for Mark and things like that. So that's all right but yeah that is my base done for my eyebrows i'm just going to go in with a brow pencil this is by be perfect uh cons yeah be perfect cosmetics in the shade ash brown i'm literally just going to fill in any gap my brows are quite thick at the moment i haven't had them waxed in years actually i was considering going to have them done but like you i just never find the time for stuff like that anymore um, but yeah, there's just a little area under here that I like to kind of fill in and join up. I'm gonna literally use whatever's left on this brush, which is a bit of bronzer. Otherwise, I feel like I look really tired if I don't put anything on my eyelids, even though this is just a tiny bit of bronzer. Mascara, this is my favourite, the Iconic London one. This is the, oh, what's it called? Triple Threat Mascara. I use this all the time and I haven't been using the Lush Serum. I, I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, oh God, my lips are so dry today. Um, I've stopped using that lash serum just because I find that it irritates my lashes a bit. So just mascara today. I don't know if I've mentioned already, but I did go to Poundland yesterday. So I'll show you in a minute what I bought from Poundland. It wasn't like an awful lot, but I'll show you what I got anyway. So for my lips, I always like a little bit of lip liner. So I'm going to just go in with, what one should we use? This one's by Barry M and it's in the shade toast but well, i used to love the one called toasted and i think they've replaced it with toast now sorry my camera went there because my memory was full as usual um but anyway that's my makeup i am now just going to put a little bit of blusher on because i love a bit of blusher at the minute and i feel like it just gives me a little bit of life i'm not going to put any liquid blush on because i've just set my face with the powder so i'm going to leave that and what i will do is i'll put this one on this is by charlotte tilbury it's the pillow talk beautifying face palette and it just looks like this and it's so nice i like the pillow talk one which is just here i kind of mix these two together just to give me a little bit of a sheen to my skin as well but they're really pretty so those are the blushes i'm really enjoying it just gives me a bit more of a a youthful glow i think and then that is my makeup let's go downstairs now and i'll go find that pound lamb bag and i'll show you what i've been buying or what i've been replenishing shall we say the few things in there that i've been replenishing but yes i think i look a little bit more alive now don't i <laughs> right okay so we're downstairs now and i thought i would show you what i bought from poundland yesterday in my little halloween bag <laughs> um so I'm just gonna start, these are all so random in here. I have not got any like anything special. I got some Harry though. These are the Bella Bites. They just look like my kind of sweets. 
I love those like red sweets like that. So I got those yesterday to make myself feel better. They did have some decorations in there and I actually bought these for the boys Christmas trees. And I was looking, I've been looking everywhere for burgundy baubles. And I couldn't believe when I went into Poundland they had so many burgundy baubles. I thought these would be so pretty on the boys' Christmas trees. Renzo loves red, so I imagine he he would love to have these. But I'll probably save these until next year. They were super cheap. So I got those ones. Um, there was 10 in there. And then I also got a slightly smaller version. So they've like some mini ones, which I think you've got 12 in there. Yeah. So I love those. I love the red. I just feel like we'll never not have red in the house. Although next year I'm not sure if I will have red. But... The kids will always have it, I'm sure. So yeah, those are to go into the Christmas stash for next year. And then, what else did we get? Oh, then we got these, milk chocolate and mallow stirrers. So to make like a hot chocolate, so you can have, do some hot milk, then stir these in to create a nice hot chocolate. I've got a milk frother. It makes your milk so frothy and warms it up. And then you use these stirrers to make a really yummy hot chocolate. I need to get some um, some squirty cream as well so I can pop that on top because that would make such a nice hot chocolate and pop some marshmallows on top. But I thought the boys would like this. I bought one similar as well the other day from Lidl or Aldi. I think it was Aldi actually. So they had these in Aldi too. But I thought I'd get another couple because I've got three boys. So I've got more of those. Those would make a really lovely gift as well for Christmas. If you want to create like a little hamper for someone, like a hot chocolate hamper, you can buy like a nice mug, get some of these, just some like extra little toppings and things like that. That would make a really lovely little gift for someone that loves a hot chocolate. I mean, who doesn't love hot chocolates? I do. Um, what else do I get? Got Orlando some skips. Very exciting. Mark got a plier set. <laughs> I should wrap this up really, shouldn't I, for Christmas? <laughs> um, no, um, Mark got this for himself. Basically in here, there's just lots of like chocolates and things. And do you know what's happened here? Oh no. I bought some chocolate Santas for the kids to just go in their stockings. But this one is a casualty. It's broken. I can feel that it's broken. This one's not. So I just got three of those. I think they were a pound or 89p. That one is broken though. That's so annoying. Is that the only one that's broken? Yes, it is. I've got three of those. One's broken, but the boys won't won't care, will they? I also got some chocolate money for them, so we can pop that um, somewhere. What else? Did, oh, got clotted cream fudge. Uh, this seems to be just a food haul, really. <laughs> it seems to just be a food haul. So clotted cream fudge. Again, you could pop this into a hamper with the chocolate stirrers. I think that would be really nice. Nice mug, like I said. Uh, what other food bits have we got in here then? Oh, white tafifi. We love tafifi and the white ones are delicious. And then I got these cinnamon sticks. These are in the Christmas section. And I thought I would get these because I actually don't mind. The cats do, well, not Gigi actually, Milan does go in the Christmas tree. And he, he's not knocked any baubles off or anything. He's just found that spot where he can get into the tree and just sit there for a bit. And the other day someone said, oh, why don't you put cinnamon sticks on your tree? Because apparently they don't like the smell of it. Um, so I just thought, well, I like the smell of cinnamon anyway. And I was just interested to see if it would work. I don't think it will, um, but they do smell lovely and Christmassy. So I'm gonna put them on the tree anyway, just for that extra festive scent in the room. I did also get the cats these. I got some festive toys for them. So you've got like a little mouse in there and another one of these like, uh, what are these called? I don't even know what this is. It's like a little foil kind of ball. Um, and they both like those. Gigi's looking at me now actually with it. I got some Dove head to toe wash. This is only a baby small one, but I like that it. it's got a pump. I just find them much easier. I use the Johnson's ones as well, but I like the pump on this one. So I just bought that one as a mini one to pop near the bar for when the boys have a bath. I got them some toothpaste. Uh, this is just for Renzo and Orlando. This is the Aquafresh splash toothpaste and then the last item i got was some kitchen spray the most uninteresting poundland haul ever so apologies for that but that's just what i got <laughs> um this one is the flash sparkling home spray wipe done well spray wipe hinged this one and it's in the frosted berries so yeah i get through the kitchen spray like no other um, but this one is, I don't know if it's just for, I think it's just like a multi-surface one, yeah. Um, but I'll be using this one in the kitchen. So I'm excited to smell that one because it looks very festive and I haven't really got many festive uh, cleaning products at the minute. So that was everything that I bought from Poundland. Sorry to bore you all with that, but you know, here we are. What am I going to do now? Actually, Gigi and Milan got a gift yesterday. 
So I'm gonna unbox that with you and we'll put it together because I don't even know what it is. But Omelette said they were sending them something, so let's go see what it is. Oh look, it's um, a cardboard cat scratcher. Let me put this together. Whoa. Oh my God, it's literally falling apart. Don't unwrap me yet. What have I just done? First thing, unwrap it. So silly. Oh, I need a screwdriver. How you're really meant to do it is you're meant to put it on like this because each end is actually open. Put that one through. So much easier. And then you literally just rip this off. Whoa, what's up here? What's that, Milan? What's that? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that is the cat tree from Omelette. So thank you, Omelette, for sending that to the cats. It's a great height, actually, as well. Look how tall it is. You can have it both heights. You can either have it halfway or have it as tall as this. So you could have it for kittens or for larger cats like we've got. I've got a new Yankee candle burning today. This is actually new this Christmas. It's Snow Globe Wonderland. Smells lovely, this one. And this would be a nice Christmas gift. Talking of Christmas gifts, I think today I want to show you a few gift ideas as well. So... This is one of them, a Yankee candle, of course. I've also got loads of other candles from Bath and Body Works, which I love. Let me show you a couple of them. I've got another Yankee candle. This is from last year, Letters to Santa. This has got more of a cinnamon kind of scent to it. Very festive. I love that one. I need to clean that jar. And then these are Bath and Body Works ones, but I do have some festive ones. One that I've already burnt, actually. And the other one, I can't remember where I've put it now. It's in the living room, I think. But I've got Vanilla Bean. They also have Vanilla Bean Noel, I think it's called. I worked with Next on a campaign. And they've got so many oh, amazing candles. I'm getting through these so quickly. And then I've also got Mahogany Teakwood, which I love. If you like more of a masculine kind of scent or fragrance, this is a really good one. Um, and again I'm getting through that one as well they burn really evenly which is nice and they smell amazing so yeah definitely get Bath and Body Works candles if you're looking for some gift ideas or of course Yankee candles these you can get on Next website and then of course I think you can get Yankee candles on Next as well actually so definitely check those out but let me take you upstairs and I'll show you a few other gift ideas Okay, so this might be a little bit more exciting than my Poundland haul. So I'm going to show you a few bits from B&M. They've got loads of great gifts in B&M. I show you all the time whenever I go in store, but today I've got a few to share with you. So if you've got like a teen to buy for, this would be really good. This is like a little makeup set. So you've got a headband in here, a sponge and six makeup brushes, which is so nice. And it's only eight pounds. So this would be great for like a secret Santa, for someone that loves makeup. Again, if you've got another makeup lover, I didn't even realise this, but B&M do Revolution, like they sell Revolution makeup. So we've got this Revolution Contour Heaven set. So you've got all of those contour makeup products in there and it comes in this box as well, which is always nice. I love a good, easy to wrap box. So you've got all of those products in there. I can't remember how much this one was, but again, really affordable, it's from B&M. So then if you've got someone that's on a bit of a hair journey like me or loves hair, then we've got this Cosmopolitan hairbrush set, which is seven pounds. I love this, nice and vibrant. You've got a round brush in there, you've got a comb, and then you've got like a paddle brush in there as well. A bench brush is what it's called. I would use this for blow drying my hair i tend to use more of a paddle style brush to blow dry my hair so this is really good and again seven pounds for that one being i've got some great gifts in at the minute we've also got um some more revolution products actually two more revolution gift sets here we've got the glow it all out face lips and eyes gift set so you've got bronzer you've got eyeshadow palette you've got basically everything you need there to create like a full glam face look which i think is great and this was only 10 pounds which again Perfect for Secret Santa if you've got someone to buy for and your limit is like £10. I think Secret Santa's are usually like 5 to £10. Some people spend more, but I think £10 is a great price for all of those products. So many products in there. What have you got? One, two, three, four, five different products in there 
for £10, which is such a bargain. And then if you've got a skincare lover, they've got the Revolution Wake Up and Glow collection. Oh, this is a nice little gift. So I've got this little mini marshmallow and mug set, which is so cute. Look at that. You get luxury mini mallows, hot chocolate. You've got this mug that comes with this little knitted jumper how lovely is that i'm pretty sure that one was around five pounds so very very nice little gift for anyone really who doesn't love a hot chocolate and the final gift from b&m to show you is this cosmopolitan curler so hair curler they've got so many brands in there it's just crazy so this is the perfectly symmetric curl curler look at those curls this is so nice so i absolutely love that sorry i just had to head downstairs and get another battery my um memory card's been full today my battery's also been empty today so here we are <laughs> and i wanted to end it with a couple of different items so i wanted to show you some dupes that i've found which are amazing dupes for literally five pounds and then i also thought i would just show you this bag because i bought this for the wedding that i went to the other day and i thought it would be a nice gift for someone if you're buying for someone that loves fashion or you know just loves a bit of glitz and glam or if you're looking for a new party bag this season i got this red sequin bag from accessorize so it's red and fuchsia and i just love it it's got a gold chain strap which is really nice and comfortable i bought it the other day so it's new in store still and you can get it from accessorize i can't remember how much it was now so i love that and i thought that would be a really lovely gift idea i'm not really doing like gift guides this year i've done a few on my instagram on my stories and i've shared them onto my highlights so if you want to go check that out there's a few different gift ideas on there but i literally just thought i would put these together and just show you a few bits with all the kids presents i've wrapped them up and i never really share them on here anymore because i don't want them to find out what they're getting so all of their presents are wrapped but these are just nice general gift ideas now the last gifts I wanted to share with you are actual dupes. So I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day and I was smelling some of the perfumes in there. They had so many. I could, there were so many that I loved actually. But I picked up two. And this one is one of them. This is the Midnight Blossom. They only had the small bottles available. But they did have some bigger bottles for some of the other fragrances. So I'm sure you can get these online or in store. This is called Midnight Blossoms. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you a close up. But anyway, this is the Midnight Blossom fragrance. This is a 30ml five pounds so it's white flower mandarin and tuber rose and this smells exactly like opium black opium so when i was in there i smelled it and i was like oh my god i love that it smells amazing and then i i, I thought to myself what does it remind me of and it took me forever to realize what it reminded me of and then i put my black opium on the other day and it just reminded me of that so it smells like black opium so if you're looking for a dupe for that if you know someone that absolutely loves black opium and you haven't quite got the budget to spend on black opium because i think it's like 90 pounds for like a big big bottle of that then you just get this five pound dupe because it's a great one to just pop in your handbag and it smells amazing too so definitely try that out i also got another one which is still in the box because i haven't taken it out uh, so this is from the discover range and it's called soft iris and it's the scent is iris bergamot and patchouli delicate iris jasmine and bergamot is blended with the essence of orange blossom at, for a soft and floral scent notes of tonka, tonka bean and grapefruit complement this scent with an aromatic base of vertiva amber and patchouli again we've got another dupe here and I knew what it was straight away so this one comes in a baby pink kind of bottle very chic very you know simple and this one smells like Chanel um Chanel what's it called Mademoiselle <laughs> which is one of my favorites it was my wedding perfume and I haven't bought Chanel for so many years now Mark used to buy it for me every year and I just haven't got it for so many years now so this is so nice and it just reminded me you know of like my wedding and like really lovely memories it's a little bit maybe a tiny bit sweeter that's probably the only difference but it smells exactly like chanel mademoiselle so if you've got someone else to buy for that you know loves chanel perfumes and chanel mademoiselle then definitely buy this dupe it's five pounds so yeah a lovely little gift there oh my god i love that one i haven't got any perfume on today actually so so let's just put some of that on oh i love it so that's everything i'm going to show you today I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit of a mishmash but i wanted to get a video out for thursday because my videos have been all over the place recently because the boys have not been very well it's just been super busy and i really hate not sticking to my schedule so i upload every thursday and sunday at 7 a.m so if you are new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button and thank you so so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys
saw you from across the room. When I rest, man.